guys, my name is Karen Sunny. I'm an environment artist currently working on Kylos of the Scent. I'm going to be taking a look into some of the shader work within UDK that will help us blend the rocks seamlessly into the landscape of the East Haven area. So first off we have an early demonstration of rock blending. As you can see we're just morphing the landscape to kind of wrap around the rocks and using the grass shader that you'll be seeing in a minute to just give some indication that it's from the same place. There's no um, harsh edges where one stops and the other starts. So as you can see here, no matter the object orientation, the grass always remains on top. This allows for easy blending into the grass and also into rock elements as well. If we take a look at our material instance here, and uh, we can see that we can tile the grass layers. Which came in handy for the larger rocks that you can see behind here, as it allowed us to scale up and down the rocks without losing uh, any sense of scale. We also have an opacity here which allows us to control the amount in and out which uh, can be particularly handy for any rocky areas that we wish to fade out to. It stops a, a hard crisp edge where the grass stops and the rock starts. see that we've got quite a low opacity as we slowly raise it up get more and more we also have a fall off which controls the amount of grass for the top and bottom see we put it to nine we have practically nothing there's a, there's a little bit there you can see and as we get to a higher number the more the grass covers and we set it to zero it covers it completely within its own world space and if we rotate you can see it catches on any surfaces that's within that range especially on the back here yeah. if you rotate you can see that surface is now not covered in grass if we change the fall off even lesser so if we open up the material editor and take a look at the shader network you can see here this is the grass fall off area. We have a vector, con vector transform here that has a three color constant giving us our world space coordinates which basically forces the grass to stay within either the top or bottom range. We also have two constants controlling the opacity and the uh, fall off which are converted to parameters so we can then use them with material instances. The network is then duplicated and added down the, the only difference with a mon one minus is so that it flips over and only occurs on the bottom faces then. This whole node network then plugs into a lerp right at the front here with our grass texture plugged into B with our tiling parameter multiplied with a texture coordinate there so we can then also control that in the material instance and also the rock lerp which has a f uh, few other things attached and also a tiling parameter here and we and the main grass fall off then plugs into the alpha of that which then goes into the diffuse so yeah I hope this was informative for you all feel free to leave any questions in the comments down below there's also some links in the description if you wish to check out Kylis and also some other tutorials from some other artists working on it. Thank you very much.